All right, we just got done with uh, day one of the America's Most Wanted Music Festival. Of course, uh, you know, it's a song you could only hear on 97BHT because we were banging Kiss Me Through the Phone, and of course, we showed a lot of love to turn my swag on to Soldier Boy Tell Him. Day number one complete. Give me your thoughts about how, how the show was run, how your show went. You obviously had the crowd popping off. My show was crump, you know, <laughs> like I always be, but um, I got I to gotta make a lot of changes, you know what I'm saying? I just got through watching Wayne's show, but to go back to the drawing board. And we get to Pittsburgh, we're going to shut it down. I saw you up there, and you seemed pretty intent. You were really, really, I mean, you know, you were enjoying yourself, but you were really, really watching Wayne. What did you just learn from, from, from watching that now? Just a lot of different things, you know what I'm saying, as far as, you know, the, the, um, you know, the lighting, the, the way the music was coordinated, everything, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, you know, my next show, I just got to go back and just critique everything just a little bit. But we straight, though. Absolutely. You know, I was talking with MTV's uh, Sway Calloway earlier, and he said he's seen so many hip-hop artists do the cash gimmick on stage where they toss money out. He has never, ever seen a hip-hop artist do it with $100 bills. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it right there. What, what inspires you to do something like that? Man, I inspire myself. You feel me? When I'm standing on stage and, you know, um, the crowd just singing my songs word for word and swag on, just going crazy like that, I just, it flashed back in my head when I was, you know what I'm saying, like 15, 14 years old, just wanted to become a rap star. Like all, all the rappers I was seeing on TV, for me to make it and to become a millionaire and for my dreams to come true, all that just be flashing through my head and I just blank out. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. Soldier Boy, tell him right now, uh, here on the Ralphie Radio Show, last time we spoke, it was right before Kiss Me Through the Phone became, you know, another number one hit for Soldier Boy, and it was right before Twitter really blew up. At the time, matter of fact, you only had 1,800 followers. Are you surprised at how crazy Twitter has gotten, and do you think that you've utilized it to the best of your ability? Yeah, man. Um, you know, Twitter has... Man, you throw that mic up there fast as hell. You saw <laughs> Here you go. No, we can't, we can't do an interview without Soulja Boy ripping on me at least once for something. <laughs> no, no. Uh, what I was saying? What was Oh, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter then blew up like crazy, man. You know, um, from like my homeboy 350 and Playboy, they get on Twitter. Like when we first started Twitter page, I sent them a blast. They had like 2,000 followers like that. You know, because you've at replied me a couple times. The only time that I get like a lot of followers is when you at reply me. So thanks for doing that. I'm sure this one will make it up too. You know, Drake, as we get ready to wrap up here, uh, the America's Most Wanted Music Festival. Drake, uh, this is an interview that made it up on your YouTube channel. He called you one of the most influential artists of our generation. When you first heard that, what was your like initial thoughts? Drake is a real dude. You know what I'm saying? Most rappers, they be they don't like to give the other rappers props. So you know what I'm saying? They be hating hating on the other on the next man. But he, you know what I'm saying? He showed me my respect. And you know, Drake is a good artist. You know what I'm saying? I just got through chopping it up with him before Wayne went on stage. Um, we we got a song coming too. You know what I'm saying? We've been in the studio. I got the studio boys actually on the road the whole tour. So I'm recording my third album. I was telling you about the DeAndre Way. It dropped in November. I'm recording my album while we on tour. So y'all can y'all can look out for the Soldier Boy Drake collaboration. And Drake says that he, that uh, you can't see him in UFC. He lying. He, <laughs> you crazy? You got, you got ass 350. I I got hands for days, man. It's, it's not a joke, man. I'm not. Soldier Boy, tell him. Look, that's an SODMG album that's coming out in November, correct? No, there's my solo album dropping, and I got the SODMG dropping album dropping in December. Oh. So we got two then, November and December. Soldier Boy, tell them the America's Most Wanted Music Festival going all summer long. Appreciate the time as always, my man. Yes, sir. Thank you so much.